I know. We're, we're making you work hard today. Sorry. Okay. So let's, let's, we can fill in this side of the circle. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be afraid. I'm sitting in the first one. John's only, yeah. John only licks people. He's not exactly. really a biter. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> So, like Carter said, I'm Brian and this is John, and we're going to do a little group stuff at first, and then we're going to split up and kind of work with you in smaller groups, so hopefully you can, we can give a little more time uh, interacting with you and doing stuff. And if there's anything you want to do, um, just <laughs> let us know. If you've been to a show, like, oh, we tried this, uh, let us know. We're, it, it, we're in for anything. Um, we, we, we perform improv comedy, so everything that we do is made up. So you might find yourself being pushed a little bit out of your comfort zone today, but we're all here to have fun, and we all are here to support each other. That's one of the most important things about improv, is that you support your partner, because you get on stage, you have no props, no costumes, no nothing else. It's all about supporting each other, and so I think improv can be a great way um, to help you become more comfortable working in front of people, but also in building a team a little bit. Um, as we do it all the time. We're tourists, don't we? Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm sure. Yes, it's good to be in front of people. Short line. Cool. So we got one more. Yeah. 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 You're late. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> We're going to call this the insult circle. So okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just in time for the middle class. Yeah. Uh, one challenge that came up, we met with Amy and Carter a little early, or, is that the beauty of improv is that we get to make everything up. And on your tours, I think they encourage you to go kind of fact-based. So, <laughs> um, but... So it, it'll be an interesting mesh here to see how our techniques blend with actually using real world stuff. Um, we're just gonna we're gonna kind of break the ice a little bit and crush the awkward moments right out of the gate here. And so uh, we call this "I'm coming over for pancakes." And the, the idea behind this is to get you comfortable interacting with other people and moving around, um, and getting you comfortable kind of presenting yourself to other folks. And the great part about it is we get to have a little bit of fun. So we get to be a little silly. So silliness is strongly encouraged. Um, there's no judgment. At least on our part, and we hope that nobody else will be judged. <laughs> and there's definitely no wrong answers to this. Yeah. Um, we might guide you to try and keep you on target. It's a very complicated game. Um, it was started out with uh, Amy, I'm coming over for pancakes. <laughs> and, and we crossed the circle. And now, Amy... Just because I got over to your house for pancakes, you're going to bail on me, and you're going to go to somebody else's house for pancakes. And, um, and the, the fluctuation you have, we normally play a structure of, I'm coming over for pancakes, but we can do any breakfast foods, really, <laughs> your favorites. Um, and it's, I'm coming to Maine, and I'm coming over for your favorite breakfast food, and walk across, make eye contact, and walk across, and then when you get there, just give them a pat on the shoulder. Okay. So it's getting to know everybody's names. Yeah, we're getting to know names, and plus you get a little time in the center <laughs> to make it cross. So I mean, so no twins on. That's like that's like your moment on on the on the lights. Yeah. Come over to the case on the side. Come over to the French toast on the side. And have fun with it, be silly, use odd voices, walk weird, <laughs> funny breakfast foods, whatever. It's just, nothing will be as ridiculous after this. So, <laughs> if you know names, great. If you don't, I'm going to be at a disadvantage. Thank you, Bobby and the others who are wearing name tags. But those who are not. <laughs> I might say, lovely lady, in which case not everybody brought any names. <laughs> All right, so let's roll. Okay, uh, yeah, Amy, you're up. Vicky, I'm coming over for quiche Lorraine. Whoa! 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 Lisa, I'm coming over for French toast. Uh, Marsha, I'm coming over for Brits. I'm coming 
So, like, if I just say, and I, you don't, you don't tell anybody who this is. The whole point of it is it's silly. So, like, I'll say to myself that you're my sun and moon, and then I'm going to try to always be between you <laughs> at all times. And you're going to pick two other people that are your sun and moon. So you're going to be constantly moving to get between them, and I'm constantly going to be trying to move between you two. No matter where you go, I'm going to try to stay in between you. Okay? Does that make sense? Thanks for volunteering. So, so take a second and choose your sun and moon. You don't, and like John said, you don't tell the people who your sun and moon are. You're just trying to make it happen. They can already be oh, in the center of the circle. Yeah, no, so, so the circle's going to kind of collapse into this black hole of the universe getting sucked into chaos. Um, what is it? It's a lunar eclipse when the when the moon comes between the sun? No, between the earth comes between the sun. Yeah, the, the, the earth's earth, shadow is on the middle. That's, where we're that's a lunar. And the solar... <laughs> I knew I knew that class was really right. good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, I have to go because I'm working in the. Uh, oh, oh no. No. it's my son. I got to go. Tell them you'll be there. Rotation is encouraged but not required. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anything yeah. 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 can tilt on an axis. Okay. you'll find is to try and keep the universe with some actual mass to it. <laughs> it generally just becomes a clump. But uh, so choose your sun and moon. And um, and uh, no, and don't tell. Tell. you can't tell. Oh. <laughs> they can't choose. No, no you, you can choose. Know. You just don't tell the people. You just know. So it's up to you. Now you your goal now is to create <laughs> your eclipse. All right. Like I have. Which right. one? Yeah. We're going. Uh, any any really. Just, okay. just so we just start. keep going. You could just try and be that part of the day where. Uh, oh, you mean we just all start moving? Yeah. yeah. Well, your son and moon are. My son and moon are the way out of the child. My son and moon are my only son. What happens when we accomplish? Each of us have a son and moon. What happens when we accomplish? Oh, they be choosing now. Okay. Time for a new son and moon. New son and moon.
Stick it. Oh, cheat. Oh, cheating is good. As long as I don't get cut. I think it's more love um, than stay. There was one extra one. Oh. There you go. And there, and we didn't want him anyway. <laughs> so we uh, we'll actually swap up, so you'll get to hang out with John and with me. Uh, so let's. Uh, all right, so let's close our circle up a little bit. We'll do this. This is improv. We're really we're making it up. We're trying to make it valuable as well. <laughs> um, okay, so let's, let's take a little step back. So I, just a quick round of kind of learning some names. Bronwyn, Gigi, Ron. Lisa. 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 Oh, oh, I was like, that Lisa. starts with a C. I don't know. <laughs> Lisa. Okay. Um, Lisa. 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 <laughs> Vicky, Amy, and Bobby. Excellent. Okay, and I'm Brian. Um, so we're just going to we'll do a little, we'll do a little, uh, we'll see what we, what we can accomplish here in just a couple minutes. So this will be a, a ball, we're going to pass some engineer balls around. Um, we'll start with a red ball, and I'll say Lisa, red ball. And this is the motion for red ball, and you catch like this, and you throw like this. And so you say, thank you. Oh, okay. I say thank you. Yeah, thank Lisa, you. red ball. Thank you. Bromwin, red ball. Thank you. Vicky, red ball. Thank you. Gigi, red ball. Thank you. Amy? Red ball. <laughs> Thank you. Bobby, red ball. Thank you. Ryan, <coughs> red ball. Thank you. Ron, red ball. Thank you. Ron, red, red ball. Thank you. Lisa, red ball. Thank you. Okay, so that's, that's red ball. Um, You're not going to hold it. <laughs> then, uh, and then we'll add in, we'll add in basketball. And basketball will be the opposite. So it's Ron, basketball. Thank you, Amy, basketball. Thank you, Ronlin, basketball. Thank you, Vicky, basketball. Thank you. Lisa, Bobby, basketball. Red ball. Oh, 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 thank Lisa. You. oh, Lisa, basketball. Thank you. Amy, red ball. Thank you. Oh, back again. Thank you. A basketball. Ron, basketball. Thank you, basketball. Ron, basketball. Thank you. Ron, basketball. Thank you. Ron, basketball. Thank you. Ron, basketball. What happened to our red ball? Red ball. 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 We can only have one basketball. One red ball. You've got the basketball. Uh, Amy, you have the red ball. Alright, so start the red ball. Okay, Lisa, red ball. Thank you. Brian, red ball. Thank you. Amy, red ball. Thank you. Red ball. Thank you. Lisa, red ball. Basketball. Thank you. Ron, red ball. Thank you. Amy, red ball. No, basketball. Which is even and, more fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Those kids, they're 
You just never know. Um, see, see, he's just a kid. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so these, uh, so I guess we talked about it a little bit, but like, <coughs> what do you guys want? What do you guys focus on in your tours? Like, if you're working on a piece of art, or, or you're going through a gallery, are you are you facts kind of people? Are you um, dates? Are you artist history? Are you are, are are there things about the art that you have or whatever? Uh, I'm just curious what, when you're on a tour, what do you, what's your favorite thing to talk about? Stories. Stories about the artist? Either the artist or the story that the piece of art is telling. Okay. Teach. Yeah, not, not facts because that just makes people go to sleep. Good. But yeah, yeah talk about the artist and his history and, and how it relates to the how long the painting takes me, and what kind of brush strokes there are. Uh, okay. But not <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> And, you know, trying to get a feel for what, what they're looking at. Okay. Try to find something interesting maybe in the painting <clears throat> or right. to, to, to direct their interest. All right, okay. Uh, I'll, I'm going to say artist's frame of reference. Frame of reference, okay, cool. Well, I'm just going to say stories also. Mm -hmm. Stories also. And adults. And adults. All right, good. I can't okay. get the C in there. And do you, do you guys feel like this is what you're successful at, or do you feel like you end up talking more about the research you did to get to your what you want to talk about? It depends on the group. <laughs> yeah? A lot depends on the group. Yeah? Yeah, if they're interested, you can just keep going. And if they're not, they kind of walk away and think, well, I blew that one. <laughs> All right. No, it's, um, just, you know, it's just, the real groups are so different. Okay. So let's try something like, uh, we call them gits, and we try not to say that in front of the audience. But when we start a scene, it's with suggestions for from the audience. And... So we're asking for anything from locations, current events, famous people, favorite colors, water, or whatever. Uh, so I just want us to kind of like think of the center of the circle as a basket here and just sort of throw out um, questions uh, of what you would probe a tour group for. It, early to kind of figure out what they're interested in, um, like, uh, what you would ask them, what you would yeah, ask what you'd ask them, or what you would want to be asked if you were on a tour, you know, uh, <laughs> who knows the difference between oil and watercolors, mm. um, have you been here before, have you been yes. here before, just kind of these, just, uh, and it's no particular order, just sort of spray them out, just, just kind of, Thoughts. Um, where are you from? <laughs> yeah. Where are you from? Where is that? Where from? <laughs> You've oh. been here before. Yes. Oh. Are you? Are any of you artists? Mm, uh, yeah. Which point? That's scary. <laughs> 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 I do not want to know. The director of a museum. Have you ever been to an art museum? Before? Have you been to an art museum before? Um, do you have a favorite piece of art? Do you know the difference between a grizzly bear and a black bear? Ooh. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, you said the Yellowstone. Yeah. Yellowstone, yeah. Good. That's the... Very often they ask, do you have any art by so-and-so? Yeah. And if you do, it's great. And if you don't, you say, I will try to find out. <laughs> <laughs> or if you don't uh, know. Uh, I think I asked that or the front yeah. desk. I think I, I think I've asked that more <laughs> yes, than any problem. You have any art by yeah. yeah. uh -huh. so, so, so a question <laughs> might be, is there a particular artist that you're looking for, right, right, right. or are you coming in here with just an open, yeah. an yeah, open wish? Who are you straight? familiar with? Yeah. Um, and then, I guess, you know, the challenge then on the guide side is if, you, if that's not readily available and you do have someone knowledgeable, being able to relate 
what we do have is this. <laughs> I know you want the cheeseburger, but <laughs> we have fine would you consider a chicken sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have stuffed animals. Yeah. Oh, in the gift store? No, we no. don't have stuffed animals. Oh, oh, it's yeah. oh. Thank you. I couldn't think of the word. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but that's another, your chicken yeah. salad sure. hamburger example yes. is a great one. It is good. Not any taxidermy, but yes. it's a really realistic painting. Yes, yes. And, exactly. and the bronze. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The yeah. corner up there is my favorite. And you always try to stay positive. Positive, positive, positive. <laughs> <laughs> um, who, uh, so, so that's, so you're, so you're going to start out kind of with these probing questions, I think. At least I would to sort of get yeah, an idea yeah, who's yeah, there. Be and, a little careful question. Sometimes people feel put on the spot. Right, so, um, what can we do? I was going to say, I've done it with children. I'm not sure I've done it as much with the adults, but just to say there's no more anything. Yeah. We all right. Look, we all look at ours. And, uh, right. Yeah. And that's, that's, um, that's improv. There are no wrong answers in improv. It's kind of, we're building on what, what's there is then true. So if, uh, it, it's easier to accept it than to, to try and reject it. Um, if we throw out that we're in a scene that where we're both garbage men, or I'm a garbage man, it's easier for my partner to be a garbage man than to join, join me in that, than to say, no, you're president of the company. And you're like, ah, oh. so then you're like two steps back. Um, so, yeah, working with them, letting them enjoy the pieces. Uh, let's just go for a little, this is the basis of improv, and tell John you did it over here because I'm stealing it. We're just going to do a little yes and. So that's like, oh, sometimes, you know, I don't know, have you ever, who's ever been to an improv show or seen who's lying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 so that... How does it work? Like, why, how can you guys just make up stuff on this go? And the the whole concept is <laughs> well, sometimes we can't, yep. but uh, but this this agree taking what's there and, and building on it, and we call it yes and. Um, so we would start with uh, actually let's do it with a piece of art. Um, give me a, a fictitious name for a piece of art. Fictitious, yeah. If you were to paint something yourself, what would you call it? I got the Grand Master. I don't know. Doesn't. Hmm. Give me a noun. Wolf. And a verb. Runs. The Running Wolf. All right. So let's look at the let's look at the Running Wolf, and uh, we'll start out with a statement on the Running Wolf. Um, give us like a what kind of material or, or anything about the running wolf. The running wolf is a very large painting made out of styrofoam cups. Yes and. So your your format is yes and. Yes and. <laughs> <laughs> the wolf in this particular painting made out of styrofoam cups is chasing a deer. Yes, okay. Yes and. <laughs> yes and. Uh, the deer is made out of uh, wool. Cool. So, yes, and. And now let's get into like stuff that's not as obvious from just looking at the art. Like, yes, and. Some, and, and the story and the anecdotes yeah. about what went into the running wolf. And I think it's interesting the artist has chosen a wolf. Yes. And is in her, as in her subject. Yes, and the wolf is a controversial mm. subject. I think it's a lot. So, so, so that was a lot. We're, we try to keep them a little smaller. Yeah. Our, our contribution. No, 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 that, no, no. That's fine. I'm just. Okay. Like, oh, what are you uh, You're not wrong. Yeah, just no. <laughs> we just need um, to bring a little brick to the to okay. us. A little for a little piece um, to our story. We don't need to tell the whole. Okay. Um, they're controversial, and they um, are we are they're beginning to hunt 
the Miguel yes, and, and the wolves are being hunted. Being hunted. I'm so being sorry. Hunted. Yes, and the wolves are being hunted. Great. Because um, so that's of it, the then. controversies. So I'll just cut you off there. Okay. Yes, and the wolves are being hunted. Ah, Boom. Okay. So you you're setting. So you don't. You give us some information, but you don't dig Vicky into a huge. They get tall. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no. Well, that's good. Okay. Mm. Don't forget to bring the bottle of water. I have Odin swim lessons. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, the running wolf. Wolf, controversial subject. Yes, and they're being hunted. And there was a wolf out back here when there that was um, stalking an injured, was it a deer? At this mm. Mm. So, so yes, yes, and, oh. yes, and wolves well, are in the area of the here. museum. Okay. Yeah. Yes, and. And the artist chose the subject because she's local and is familiar with wolves being in her backyard. They said the wolves were in, her, in the artist's backyard. Whatever mm -hmm. has it in her backyard. Wow, yeah. wow. And, um, <laughs> and um, actually, it looked like the same color wolf. Yes, and. Uh, yes, and. Um, I, I saw one on the refuge oh, a couple okay. weeks ago, which was not made as time remote. <laughs> <laughs> good, good. And it was fun to see. Uh, and, 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 I'm, and it's very sad that in places you could just shoot them on sight. But I guess if you have a... Right. So, so, let, so, so. so. <laughs> yes, and they're on the refuge. Um, yes, and this artist is a rancher. Oh. Mm. Yes, and. This artist that's a rancher had the wolf eat her dog. Oh. Mm. <laughs> yes. Yes, and blank. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, so now we're kind of talking about the artist. Uh, yes, and she feuds with her neighbor. Yes, and she works with her neighbor to protect. The wolves. Yes, and she never has spoken to her father since <laughs> uh, he oh, shot a wolf. wolf. Uh, <laughs> uh, so anything, yeah, just yes and us. Yes and yes and we go back to the deer too. Yeah, yeah. The, the deer population is is decreasing because of the wolves. <laughs> And these styrofoam cups that the um, that she's made the painting with are actually um, found objects that she picked up in the backyard. Oh, uh, cool. Oh. Ah, um, and, um, yes, and, and. Yes, and. And and so the reason I'm stressing this yes and is that that's your catalyst. That's your catapult. Yeah. To okay. to take what you have and, and build. Yes, and. and. Yeah. Yes. And that's in, in in your head, you know. That's not something we don't go through improv scenes. Yes, and we're at the mall. Yes, and um, but that's like the inner monologue is yes and so. Um, yes, and do you think she's done a good job making a realistic wolf? What a statement! So make it a statement. Yes, oh, and okay. she's been awarded for her realistic the use of use of styrofoam. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Styrofoam. Yes, and. Yes. Yes, and uh, many people like the different types of material or whatever the staff and the wool that she used in her painting. Great. Yes, and mixed media is a common working practice for her. She uses lots of different materials in her works. Yes, and yes. And um, it looks to me like the deer might be pretty old and possibly lame, and it probably may be the end of it soon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So, that, um, yes, and this piece will go to the National, uh, to the White House. In April. Oh um, my gosh. Okay. Wow. So, wow. Wow. Yes. so uh, a foam wolf at that would be pretty good. So I guess what, kind of the goal yeah. here is when you're putting, when you're looking and you're kind of putting together your tours, so that you're not totally making stuff up as you're going. I presume that you have your homework and stuff. But think of this 
uh, using yes and as sort of your background um, and building. So, so you're telling an interesting story where you start small and you give them some facts and some characters and then yes and why do they go together and, and build, build up to something that happens. Uh, uh, and I, I started at the small stuff. Another improv thing is we usually, you want to start in the middle uh, because oh, like uh -huh. whenever we go into a scene, we always know each other. It's never, we, well, I won't say it's never, but we try to avoid, uh, hey Bobby, I'm Brian. And now okay. you're like, so who no, wants to watch? watch. <laughs> I'm from no. Jackson, where are you from? Hi, how do you do? <laughs> you. Oh, great. I ain't had a cold last week. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I'm so glad. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I, 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 it seems like I've had a lot of older people coming. And so quite often I'll say I also work with children, so I hope I don't talk to you like you're fifth graders. And, and, I, and I think you want to kind of make people comfortable, like you're not the know-it-all. You know, right, you, yeah, know you know a lot, but there's a lot that you can learn from them too. Right, <clears throat> um, and and I think something where you're working from a story perspective will help you feel less like a professor and more like, hey, let's go check out the museum, yeah, right. and I'm going to tell you, I'm going to I'm going to kind of piece together a, a a nice story through the museum. Um, building kind of through what maybe like something similar to what you would experience on a trip to Yellowstone or whatever. You're going to see the wildlife and the geysers and whatever. I don't, I'm not going to, I'm not, we're not here to create tours or anything, but just creating more of a story environment, a story environment more so than a, a, an informational environment and getting, and you guys sound like you're doing a great job, but you know, Telling them stuff that they can't read for themselves. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I look to gain when I get when I get audio tours and stuff in museums. Mm -hmm. it's, it's what can you tell me that I can't learn by just looking at it myself or just reading the plaque. Mm -hmm. um, so I think we're gonna swap up. Let's swap up so you guys can get some John time. Can, can I just ask one? Yeah, can sure. you do yes and and ask a question? Um, if you then take that for it forever. You, you could. It's, uh, when you ask the question, you lose control. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, statements give you control and set you up for where you want to take things. Um, you know, you're on tour, so you don't have to leave room for questions. I'm sorry, I left. I oh, so I'm going to swap. Are we going to swap or are we going to bring groups back? No, let's just, uh... I'll just go do a. Are you guys all leaving right at noon? We'll probably stay Some of us lunch. will have lunch. Okay, well. Because the lunch at home is. If I do like there. 10 minutes with the other group, then we can regroup and do like five minutes all together. We can. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's good. They're doing a, word, letter, a letter from Carl to Mary, a word at a time. A what? A word a letter at a time. from Carl to Mary? Yeah, a word at a time. Oh, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Yes, and and storytelling starting in the middle. Okay, cool. Great. So I'm John. Uh, Brian and I started the last step a bit over five years ago. Thank you, uh, except Amy, as in everybody has a name tag, so that'll be easy. We'll skip the introductions <laughs> in the interest of time. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of fun. So one of the key things about provide, uh, I think, a trick to giving a good tour would be not only being able to present, but also to be able to listen to what other people, what's going on in the group. Whether they're, are they even listening to me? Are they paying attention? Uh, is there something going on? Are they, are they having some sort of conversation? So I need to do a bathroom. Just kind of being aware so that you can yes. continually interact with the group. And so we're going to do a little practice exercise in order to practice that a little bit. Um, and it's going to be a little bit of uh, combining a couple things that we've done already. So we're going to start out um, with something very similar to what we did for coming over for pancakes, where we're going to point and then eventually move across the circle. Are you okay to walk? A little bit? Okay. Perfect. All right. So, um, so I'm going to point to somebody, 
You're okay for now. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to point to somebody, and in this case I'm going to point to Lisa. I'm not going to say Lisa's name. I'm just going to point to you, and I'm going to put my hand on my head, which indicates that I've pointed to somebody. Now you point to somebody else. You can't point to somebody, um, everybody should go to somebody different. So now you point to somebody else and put your hand on your head and just keep pointing at them. Now you point to somebody that's not Lisa or me. Yeah, keep pointing. And then the last person points back at me. Okay? So keep a cl close eye on who... Who you're who, who you're pointing at? That's the most important person. Okay. At this point. <laughs> who you're pointing at. All right. So everybody got it in your brain. Mm -hmm. Okay. So drop your hands, and I'm gonna we're gonna go around the circle like that. So I'm gonna walk here, and then you're gonna walk over. Tap you on the shoulder. And you're gonna walk over. You can say you. When, they, when you tap them. Yeah. So you tap. Okay. And you just say you. <laughs> Are you coming to me? You saw you coming to me? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> you? You? You. Keep going, huh? You. <laughs> we're, we're remembering this pattern. This is our presentation. This is what we're this is what we're focused on doing. Is, is this? So we're trying to get it ingrained in our memory. could be at the museum, doesn't have to be. Um, and I'm going to say Climber is mine. And now, Lisa, you're going to say, we're going to go around the circle. Okay. Um, wrong guess. Okay. Um, Smith. Um, Chris Pat. Hicks. Cheval. Trucker. <laughs> Climber. Monet. Nope, same one. No, same oh, one. same one. Oh, wrong view. Yes. Smith. Here's that. Hicks. Shaw. Tucker. Climber. I never know <laughs> wrong <laughs> yes. Smith. I'm trying to rememberize everybody. Don't Smith. memorize no, it. Just no, remember just mom. Remember yours. Right, right, right. Wrong view. Smith. Here's that. Hicks. Shaw. Tucker. Climber. Okay, so... How do I know when to say climber? Because I hear Renoir, right? Renoir. So that's how. I, so that's what I'm listening for. Okay. So, so I'm listening for Renoir. What are you listening for? Climber. What are you listening for? I'm listening for hers. Which is? <laughs> <laughs> Which is Rungius? I don't remember. Which is? It's very kind of you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Chagall. Tucker. Renoir. Is that what she said? Climber. Rungus. Smith. Your staff. Hicks. Chagall. Tucker. Uh, Renoir. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now this is the part where, so with the use, we're walking back and forth. That's what we're focused on. And now we're focused on listening. So the third part of this is that you want to make sure that people are actually listening to you and that they're hearing you. You're not just talking to yourself. I like to talk to hear myself. 
self-talk, but I'm a little weird that way. You have a nice voice. <laughs> Thank you. So, so one of the things, the other part of this is that if I say climber and I don't hear rungus, then I, she hasn't heard me. So I need to say climber again until I hear rungus. Okay? So I'm going to say climber and I'm going to hear rungus. Climber. Okay? So now here's how we're going to do this. We're going to start walking. I'm going to start we're going to do our circle. And then when we start to get that pattern down, I'm going to throw in the names of the artists. Okay? So we're going to get this going first. Yeah. Do we go, do we use the same person? The same person that we did before. Did before. So who did you okay. walk to last time? Does she say it? Sure. You can just ask it. But does she she said, I said, Dex, Chagall. Tucker. Comes after Tucker. Climber. Where are you? Smith. Where am I going, Gigi? <laughs> Smith, you said, who comes after you? You're doing two things at one time. Yeah, we're multitasking. Right. Right. You're multitasking. Right. So she says Smith and you say Deerstep. Oh, Deerstep. Here's Chacal. Tucker. Grandma. Climber. Grandius. Smith. Oh. Deerstep. Hicks. Chacal. Tucker. Oh. This is not my game. <laughs> <laughs> Climber. Brungius. Smith. Beerstack. Hicks. Chagall. Tucker. Renoir. Climber. Brungius. Smith. <laughs> Oops. Oh. <laughs> Smith. Say it again. Excuse me? Excuse me. Smith until you hear Beerstack. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't hear what you're saying. I don't hear. I just. Well, she said beer. Oh, beer stack. Okay. Yeah. Or she said Smith. Chagall. Tucker. Grandma. Climber. Rungius. Smith. Beer stack. Hicks. Chagall. Wherever you are. Tucker. Grandma. <laughs> Climber. Grungius. Oh, oh, okay. You. Smith. He's, I'm impressed. Smith. That's okay. a hard game. That is yeah, that, hard. That is. Hard. That's hard. If, if you can't. Especially in this age. You guys want to. Yes. If you want your brains to explode, we will do anymore. like six or seven. We'll do like one less than what the number of people in the group are. It's really blow your brain. We throw stuff at each other. So you gotta like walk and then also catch a ball and say rungus. And oh, <laughs> that's an element. So Red ball, basketball, rungus. Yeah. yeah. All right. Interesting. Yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. Nice work, everybody. Give yourselves a round. Yay. Of so we're learning a little bit about um, focusing on our presentation, but also while listening to whether the group is paying attention to us, whether they're hearing us, and whether they're really engaged in getting our message across. So and having a little fun with it. So let's wander over to the members' lounge and check in with Brian. Is our television neighbor going to come as well? Yes. Oh. What well, makes it work? We you retake what our other people on the stage put out there and go forward with it. So we're gonna we're gonna create a piece of work and give a little tour on it. If any of you guys want to play again, feel free to jump in. Uh, so I need Martha a noun. Marsha. Um, Marsha. Bear. It's like Martha with a lift. Marsha. Bear. Bear. Okay, good. Uh, and a verb, John. Action. Uh, <laughs> a more specific <laughs> verb. Walking. 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 Uh, so the walking bear. So we're gonna we're gonna 
kind of guess and tell the story of the art piece, The Walking Bear. Okay? Uh, and we'll start <coughs> with... Um, I should probably throw, I'll throw myself in there first and circle. Let, the, the normal line would be, let's, this is, uh, we've never, I've never done it for an artist, except for just once with them. I don't to go somewhere. Oh, it was good. It was pretty great. I think it did really well. Is that why they switched? Kick it up. The, the Walking Bear was the artist's last piece. And then the pattern for this is yes and. So, I what, all we know about it as a group is that the piece is called The Walking Bear and it was the artist's last piece. And you're going to add one little bit more information by saying yes and and telling us okay. a bit more about The Walking Bear. So, my turn? Yep. Yeah. And, as his last piece, he painted it with his toes at night. <laughs> okay. And the pattern's yes and. Yes, and he never saw a real bear. Yes, and it was a blue bear. Yes. A blue bear. Oh, a blue bear. It's a blue bear. Yes, and his favorite food was strawberries. Oh, uh, yes, and um, he had a he had a he had a maid. <laughs> <laughs> Start in the middle and 
Start talking about the art. What do they like about it? What, you know? And, and, and find out where they are and build from there rather than trying to tell them why the piece is in the museum at, at all. You know? Who cares? It's here. We know it's here. Let's just go with it. Uh, the curator who worked very hard to get it here probably cares a lot about why it's here. And that may make an interesting part to a story sometimes. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's go, uh, let's do some ones, twos again. One, two, one, two, one, two, uno, dos, uno, dos, uno, dos, uno, dos, ein, drives. <laughs> okay, so uh, ones, make yourself comfortable on the on the chairs, twos, hang out over here with in a line, sort of. Yeah, yeah, line them up. Make a little circle there. These are the twos. Twos. Bobby just joined us. Oh, no, you know. uh, so, we're going to conduct a tour. And uh, John's group got to do word at a time. Or both groups have done word at a time. Uh, we did word at a time as we left, as I left here, but I don't think we ran okay. out of so, time in the other group. So, uh, uh, do you want to run this first round or shall I? Uh, easy, whatever you'd like. I've been spewing for a while, okay. so you take it. Sweet. So, we talked about yes and, and how we're building a story moving forward. I mean, some of us did a, an exercise where we wrote a letter, a word at a time. Okay. And so we're going to basically combine those two things and we're going to conduct a tour. I'm your tour conductor, you are the tour guides, these are your audience, okay? And so how this is going to work is that when I point to you, you will start talking, giving your tour. And when I pull my hand away from you, you will stop in mid-word, if necessary. And then I will point to somebody else who will pick up exactly where you left off, mid-word, if necessary, but all the while making sense, building off what, so you, if, you're, if you're in here talking about the, the three bears and how they're great and they're standing by the water and there's lily ponds and I pull away and then you're like and then chief walk you know like it doesn't like you, you need to just kind of sneak, sneak, make it keep making sense try to right? keep some continuity keep some continuity to it okay so we're, we're hearing what's being said so we're always listening and then we're agreeing with that and building on it okay all right and we're only talking as long as we're getting pointed to so we're also kind of paying attention all right so, um, I need uh, a room in the, in the museum, somewhere we could start this bathroom. The bathroom. <laughs> the bathroom. I love it. We'll start with the bathroom. So, we're going to start our tour in the bathroom. We may, pause, we may pause throughout the tour and move to different rooms, I hope. Uh, but we're going to start in the bathroom. So, we might start with the bathroom. It's a common bathroom. question, where's the bathroom? Well, to the bathroom, you might find seven stalls, the ladies on the right, whatever, whatever makes sense to you, okay? Alright, so um, we're going to start this by warming up, so I'm going to just kind of, you just kind of start babbling just to get your voices warmed up. Like a little bit of a Alright, done. Alright, tour of the bathroom, begin. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to share with you the women's restroom today. Um, as you can see, when we walk in... Look at me. We're always looking at me. It's a very tiny place, and there's always more women in here than there are men in the midst of <laughs> Yep. Stop when I pull away. So you're always looking at me, but you're listening. So you don't have to look to listen, all right? And it's a very clean bathroom. We have seven stalls and, um, and five sinks, which is also very convenient. <laughs> and you'll even notice that there are some artwork. There is some artwork. Uh, in this bathroom. It looks like a paper towel holder. And you really can <coughs> use it for paper towels. All you have to... <laughs> um. All you have to... Yeah, you have, um, I think that we've said enough about this bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. You're wrapping it up, Carol. Carol, you're wrapping it up. Your tour. All right, at least I, okay. All right. So now there's another room, another another place in the museum that we might go. What's another place? The lobby. Great. So we're getting suggestions. This is the improv part. We have to make it up as we go. All right. 
And now we're in the lobby and we're starting off with Lisa. We're um, in the lobby today of the National Museum of Wildlife Art, uh, where we're going to start our tour. And as you know, um, mm, uh, as you know, uh, please look around the room and if you want, please note the totem pole way over there. Okay. Okay. And right behind it, this great view out the window behind it, the National Park Refuge. So and, freeze. I'm and, gonna I'm gonna interrupt you. Yeah. So uh, you guys have all been to rooms in the in in the museum on your tours. The bathroom was great because I don't. It didn't seem like any of you had given it to her. The <laughs> so, so we're, like we're trying to break out of. Tell us something you've never told anybody about the lobby. Right. I'm not saying that you were using lines that you'd used before. I'm just saying it may have sounded like it, which means you're really good. All right. Here we go. We're still in the lobby. Go. Something you might not think about is take a look up. What do you see? Well, there's some stuff on the ceiling, but there's also that big sculpture of the cat, and there's a really neat story about... <laughs> and you'll notice the, the balcony where you can go up and, and stand and look down and observe all of the... And here, and right below the balcony, you see the front desk. And there, as you um, look from the balcony, you can see animal footprints in the stone. Great. Good job. Do you want to what do you well, want? One more quick. One more. Uh, okay. So um now we're landed somewhere outside the museum. Outside the museum, exactly. So where where else in town that we're we're doing? We're like branching out. We're going someplace else in, we're going in the valley, somewhere the else. Square. The town square. Great. So now we've taken our group to the town square. Okay. This is like a multi-day tour. So <laughs> we've tapped out the museum. Now we're down to the town square and go. So the first stop we have to make is to Moon's ice cream. Uh, and you can order chocolate, vanilla, or strawberry. <laughs> and then walk outside with your cone, and here's a really nice bench to sit on. And then you can look up and you can see the arches on all four corners of And the arches are uh, on all four corners, and there's a skating rink during the winter. And you notice there's a lot of other shops around the, the, <coughs> the square. Selling all kinds of. And they cleared the bushes in the middle of the square so that people would be safer. And in the winter, they put really pretty white twinkle lights on all the um, trees, but there's one tree that has colored lights. Do you know? And sometimes it's Christmas, we have blue lights, then we have white lights, and even the antlers. <coughs> Um, and in the summer, many families come and picnic or wait for their spouses who are uh, in the shops across the street, and it's cool, and it's a lovely uh, center, central meeting area. Great! <laughs> <laughs> all right, high fives all along. Part first. Swap! Yay! Yeah. <laughs> uh, you gotta get out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Maybe now you'll become a ghost in the Maybe I'll find my name. <laughs> <laughs> that you've had visitors from? A place. Uh, I, like Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Any particular place? Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio. Ohio. Okay. So, <laughs> we're not going to start cold turkey. Um, we're going to run through the alphabet real quick, okay? A. B. C. D. E. F. G. H. <laughs> H. I. J. K. L. M. O. A. <laughs> Part of this before.
museum stuff for the town square, we were familiar with it. Yeah. So we didn't always listen. So somebody would start talking about something, and then the next person would just start talking about something else on the square that wasn't really listening or building on. So it's going to be really key in this one, because we're making it entirely up, that we're really listening to what's being said. To <laughs> But we're still giving a tour. Yeah, we're giving a tour of Columbus. <laughs> we're, we're right in the middle of this tour. We're on a bus. Okay. We're on it. We're on a bus. <laughs> well, Columbus, Ohio is the capital of snow coats. Of what? Snow coats. <sighs> yes, and everyone from all over the nation comes just here for the snow cones. Do you see that? Yes, Sam. See that? That was beautiful. <laughs> ah. Oh. Yes, and I have. Uh, elementary school children, and they get mixed up between Columbia and Columbus, and I always tell them, the bus is in. Oh, ah, 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 ah. This is the home of Ohio State University. Yay. Go, Ohio. <laughs> All right. Yes, and <laughs> a, lot, a lot of the snow cones, we have a great place where you can get some good grilled cheese sandwiches. But with the grilled cheese, you also have to have a bowl of soup from the cheese factory. Ooh, wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good. Okay, Columbus sounds. Yeah. I'm missing Columbus, and all we do is get there. Uh, let's see. So, let's see. Somewhere, uh, not a, a location outside of America. Oh gosh. Oh, great. Costa Rica. Costa Rica. And. So Costa Rica. There's an ocean around Costa Rica. So funny. Oh, so my son is the Atlantic, and one is the Pacific. <laughs> 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 Oh, okay. Okay. Friday. Hello, 
<laughs> yeah. Did you try out? Not really. It's, it's, it's looking like it's going to be a real fun show. And sat, this Saturday already sold out. So. Oh, and I, I got a little sneak peek of rehearsal oh. this weekend, and it's looking pretty good. Sauce game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you all. Yes. So much. Thank you. Coming <laughs> around not everyone here is a docent and mm -hmm. not everyone does the same kinds of you know the plays the same roles at the museum but I think this is really important for all of us and hopefully you'll gain some neat uh, tools to use throughout the museum and one of the things that's really sticking with me is how hard it is when you know something really well to, to not just have that in your mind and be set with it. You know, kind of what you were pointing out, John, that really remembering to listen and being comfortable kind of adjusting where you're going. And maybe we should give uh, bathroom tours more often. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think? Well, give their attention right away. <laughs> if there's art in there, it's justifiable. You, you, hit, you hit the first point, where's the bathroom? Right off the bat. You're like, here we go. <laughs> yeah.